Well, look at this, Jerry. That's some of that three or four breast racing we were talking about back in the pack. That's for about or about the middle of the field, 18th through 20th, four cars went into their side by side, and the three car Bernhardt just went right on out in front of them. Good move by Mike Wallace on the inside, the FTP brake Chevrolet back up front. Mark Martin has picked up where he left off before. One car spinning, the car number 41. Johnny Benson, as a car takes a roll, as it slid backwards, the, apparently the air just picked the back end of it up and around and rolling over. Here they come back to the start finish line. Mark Martin will lead them to the start finish line. Caution being shown for the first time today a violent crash out of turn two. The young driver Johnny Benson Jr. driving the car number 41, 30 years of age from Grand Rapids, Michigan. A couple hours away from here driving a Delco Remy Chevrolet. It's a car owned by Ernie Urban. Here again is what happened. It looks like he might have been tagged by a car, Jerry. There was a pack of cars running together, and then it gets backwards, and, and you see the spoiler sticking up there. The air gets under it and lifts the back end up, and then it just starts rolling over in the grassed area on the back stretch here at the Michigan International Speedway. Fortunately, it does not get over into that guardrail, but that's a pretty serious-looking crash because it lands on its wheels. Different angle again for that scary crash here in the early laps looking across the racetrack. You see the rear of the car starting to get off the ground. You'll get a sense of actually how high this car will lift here as it came off the ground and begins to tumble. Higher than some of the scaffolds there where our cameras are located. Well, Jerry, the speeds have increased so much here at the Michigan International Speedway in the last couple of years. And in, and in this race in particular, Goodyear has some awfully good tires now that are running faster. And the speeds are up quite a bit here. And some were concerned that maybe when these cars got backwards, like we've seen them do at Talladega and Daytona, that they just might have that flying effect. And here we go on the first, second lap and seeing that happen. Safety crews are on the scene immediately, as you see. We are getting reports that the driver appears to be okay. We'll try to confirm that when we come back to Michigan International Speedway after this. A violent impact brings out the first caution flag off of turn two. Back with more from Brooklyn, Michigan after this. Stay with us. Back at Michigan International Speedway, taking a look at safety crews. They have loaded Johnny Benson Jr. in the ambulance. He stood up beside the car and was able to smile to some of the crew there and that certainly was good news as they began to load the Delco Remy Chevrolet Luminar what's left of it here's what happened just moments ago in the early laps the car gets backwards and added and begins to lift yes it does you can see how the spoiler up in the air and of course that has a lifting effect and as the car got on the grass there it started flipping over and over finally lands on its wheels but as you said Johnny Benson Jr. got out of the car and walked to the ambulance 30-year-old Grand Rapids, Michigan driver. There he is standing with the safety crew, talking to the safety crew. He currently leads the ASA point standings. He has seven wins in his career, three this year. He has a lead over Mike Eddy in the ASA standings, and he turns around and smiles and says, man, what a ride. And fortunately, he's able to walk away due to the safety required by these NASCAR Bush Series cars.